Well, the chief executive of the Road Haulage Association, meanwhile, is at number 10 today to discuss Brexit and the implications for the haulage and logistics industry. Uh, Rod McKenzie is their managing director of policy and public affairs and joins me now. Uh, thank you very much for coming along uh, to talk to us today. Uh, I think it's worth reminding our viewers, first of all, what the main concerns, the chief concerns of the industry are right now. Well, we need a deal, whether it's this deal or a deal with a nip, a tuck or a shot of Botox. I'm not too bothered, but it ne we need a deal. And uh, the alternative uh, is a cliff edge Brexit, which is a, has very, very serious implications for, for our industry. Remember that this deal is a divorce deal, uh, and that triggers a transition period, which is vital for our industry to get ready to some, for some new trade arrangement and some new border and customs arrangement in the longer term. So if you need a deal, and the, the main deal that's on offer at the moment is Theresa May's deal, what does the industry think of that? Does it have concerns or is it reasonably happy with the, the, the parameters of that deal? Well, the D A deal is the most important thing, as I've said. And uh, if you look at the alternative, which is a cliff edge uh, Brexit on the 29th of March with no transition, uh, that is a very, very serious situation for the road haulage industry. It's serious because um, of, of border queues, potential border queues at places like Dover. Um, it's uh, very serious because of the permit arrangements that we would need to move trucks from uh, the UK to Europe and back again. There simply aren't enough permits to go around. 2,000 for around 40,000 trucks. That will put some firms potentially out of business. 2,000 permits and 40,000 trucks. Hmm. Well, clearly the math doesn't work there, does it? It doesn't. And, and the, there is an even greater difficulty with uh, HMRC and what they are saying that we would need to do in terms of form filling for some new customs declaration. Now, let me give you an example. One of our haulage companies uh, has 300 trucks a week uh, going over to Europe. Uh, on each truck are 8,000 individual shipments. Each of those would require an input declaration, an export declaration, and a safety and security declaration. That adds up to 7 million customs declarations a week for one firm. How is that ever going to be done? I mean, th that's fairly mind-boggling, Rod. Uh, um, how much preparation in general terms has the industry usefully been, being a been able to do at this point for whatever comes next? Almost nothing because the government has obviously and understandably been planning for a deal so they didn't want to talk too much about what would happen in the case of a no deal and we're now starting to get information from departments like the Department for Transport and HMRC saying this is what you would need to do but actually it's not very clear and yesterday the HMRC issued a, a, a notice which uh, was so vague I could make n neither head nor tail of it. Uh, and there is simply not enough information that tells haulage companies what they need to do in, in clear and simple terms. Confusing, not enough of it. We're in trouble. Okay, Rod McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association, thank you very much for that.